mix swag. I mix up. We block burning. Yo, so two bro niggas trying to get rich, man. That's the name of the album that we dropped. Uh, what, a couple years ago? It's not just an album. It's who we are, too, in a sense, you know. I know that might sound crazy, but we are two broke niggas trying to get rich. You know, basically two. You already know. It's two of us. Obviously. Broke. Like, we not broke, but that word is used to basically describe our determination. We willing to go broke for this. We willing to risk it all. And that's what we do. You know, it's not just something we willing to do. That's what we do. We put it all into this every single day, man. Niggas, obviously, that's what we looked at as niggas. Trying, we use the word trying because it's a humbling word. We all trying every day to survive, to make it. We trying to get rich. And rich, obviously, you know, we rich in family, rich in love. But when we talking about trying to get rich, we talking about from a money standpoint so that we can provide better opportunities for our family, our friends, people that we love, other people. Just be that motivation, that helping hand that people really need today, man. So two bro niggas trying to get rich. That's what that is. Bag music came along. We went to Philly Ferrari. We went and we heard his beat on Instagram. It wasn't the bag music beat. It was another beat. But when we went to go get this beat, Philly Ferrari was looking out. He was like, man, I'm gonna give y'all one for free. So he gave us the beat, the bag music. His con he was putting together a compilation and he was gonna call it bag music. And that was just, just kicking my head. Like, oh, he gonna call it bad music, then boom. So now I came up with the hook. Uh, okay. From there, you know, that's where the bad music came from. You know, we like coming up with this hook, like, yo, X coming up with this hook, man. Bad music, bad I'm listening to it, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, that's cool. So I'm like, you know, let me put together a hook. So I put together a hook, brought it to him. He like, man, it's cool, you know, which it was, it, it was, it was nice. But we ended up running with, hey, he's like, man, trust me, you gotta trust me on this one. So we ended up running with that he came up with. We recorded the song, it was nice, but we was like, man, you know, it's missing something, you know, we we played it for a couple people, it was like, you know, it's nice, you know, it was feeling it, it was feeling it, so we like, man, you know, it's missing something, you know. So we did something that we normally don't do, we branched out, we was like, you know, hey, since we branched out with the beat, well, let's try something new, so we ended up hollering at Josh at Top of the World Studios, man, we met up with him, cool people, man. Actually, the first time we met up with him, we recorded another song, and it was so good that we was like, wow, we gotta go back. So the other went. song that we got to beat the first beat from. Right, right, exactly. So we like, it was magical, so we ended up, you know, going back and recording bag music, man. Look, my baby, just so you know. That we really pushing right now. We want people to get behind that track bag music. The reason why I say that one, because, you know, it's more something you can relate to. You're going out and party, you want to kick it, man. You know, that's a good track to listen to, bag sure I get that bag like I'm supposed to. If I wasn't doing music, God, like rapping, if I wasn't rapping or doing music, I would be hooping. Now, that's kind of like far-fetched. That's not guaranteed, but I would be hooping. But if it was something I could, that was guaranteed that I knew that I could just go to school and do and be good, I'd be a lawyer. I'd probably be, like he said, you know, hooping. That definitely would have been my first love. But um, other than that, I'd be tied to one, which I'm doing right now. Or a personal trainer, you know, getting your bodies together, man. What y'all doing out there, huh? Thank you too, buddy. Thank you, man. Coming up from Cleveland, Cleveland is like, it's a great place to be. I love my city. I couldn't imagine really being anywhere else except for Alaska, which sounds crazy. But I love Cleveland, man. Everything ain't perfect here, but at least we don't got weather disasters, like disasters, like stuff just like, like, you know, people out here going through some stuff. So I love my city, man. And that's just really trying to grow up and make it in the music industry here. It has its ups and downs. We've been in contests and different things like that. We thought we should have won and we didn't. But you know, people's opinion, that don't really, you know, matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, that's the type of things that you deal with. You're going to have ups and downs. That don't mean stop. Exactly. Yeah. It's almost like every time we have a down, it's almost like, it make us feel closer to our goal. That's almost crazy. Yeah, it's a learning experience. You know, you learn something you win, you learn something you lose. So you gotta take it all and roll with it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we do. Mm -hmm. 
the whole purpose is not to give up. So it don't matter where you're from, Cleveland, New York, from, you know, uh, California, Compton, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't give up, man. You can be this close right. to your goal. And the moment you gave up, boom, you missed it. You're almost there. Yo, hey, real quick, man. Thank, thank you, you for your support. Everybody that's just been supporting Block Burners and what we doing. Bag music, two broke niggas trying to get rich. You already know, man. We appreciate your support, man. Thank you. We love you, man. From the bottom of our heart, we appreciate it. Right. Yeah.